Hey folks, welcome back to Transplant Over Again today. My name is Jim Merle, and today we're going to be discussing the potential or the possibility for rejecting a pig valve, aka porcine valve, after it is placed within your heart. Now, many of you may remember, it's been about three years ago, I actually had my aortic valve replaced via a TAVR procedure, which is a transcatheter aortic replacement procedure. It's a whole lot easier than having the open heart surgery that was once required for replacing the aortic valve. Basically, I went up through my groin, dropped it in just like they would a stent through a, a angiogram type procedure, a heart cath procedure, legally split, that was it. I was in and out of the operating room in about 30 minutes, okay, and that even included some level of sedation. So I'm thankful that I was able to go that route. Now, at the time of discussing the need for my aortic valve replacement, they basically gave me about three options that were available then okay and the first one was a pig valve a poor sign valve now the reason we did not go with that route is even though it is just what it sounds like they take a literal valve out of a pig's heart place it within your heart uh, even though that sounds great and it is a really good option it's been used since about the mid 1960s here in the united states and abroad it's very effective but there is always the quite a high possibility of failure of that particular valve and they basically put about an eight to ten year lifespan on that valve and so for me being young at the time I'm probably younger than you think, but me being young at the time, they determined that just wasn't the best option. They wanted me to give me something that lasts a bit longer, at least they hoped would, so that I wouldn't have to go in through another procedure in any time in the near future. So that was option was off the table, so they offered me a secondary option, and that was a full-on mechanical valve. Now, the mechanical valve is just what it sounds like. It's basically a synthetic type man-made material. It actually has a physical operating valve that's placed within it. It operates based upon your heart flow and your blood pressures inside of your heart or the pressures inside of your heart. It works very well with the only downside to the mechanical valve being that oftentimes it was pretty susceptible to clotting. Okay, there would be some stickiness to it for whatever reason. It clotted pretty regularly. So even though they've used that again for quite a long time, they've always kept patients that were, having, that were given the mechanical valve on some type of anticoagulant, a blood thinner type thing, you know, something like a Coumadin, what have you, and you're generally on that for the long haul. Well, I had had some issues with Coumadin in the past, uh, two TIAs, too many strokes and such. They just determined that, again, wasn't the option they wanted to go with for me. So then they offered me a third option, which was some kind of a, a hybrid valve. Basically, that's the mechanical valve. It's more like a stent or a mesh type material, but it is lined inside and out, I understand, with a porcine or pig tissue type uh tissue, I guess you'd say. They pull that out of the pig, again, wrap that, place it within you, and what that does for you, that gives you the longevity or the, the survivability of the mechanical valve as far as the structure, but it also gives you the uh, anticoagulant uh, aid that comes in just because it's actual living tissue. So that's a tremendous help in that, and that is the option they chose to go with on me. But when that was going on, I had quite a bit of questions that I brought before my team, my physicians as we were preparing that. One of which was I asked the question, is it possible to actually reject that pig valve, essentially causing tremendous problems? And the answer to that was yes, any foreign body that's placed within a human body potentially has the possibility of rejection. However, they said in this case, it was very, 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 very small and unlikely that that would occur. And that really comes in for a few different reasons. Number one, obviously, the valve itself is very small. So even though, it, you know, in the, in the grand scheme of things, in comparison to the heart itself and in comparison to the body itself, very small thing, but even so, that could potentially be rejected by the body. However, actually, before they place that valve within you, any type of foreign tissues, they actually treat it with a liquid or chemical type material, which I'm going to put right here on the screen right now. You can try to read it for yourself because I cannot really pronounce it. But they put this right here onto that a valve, pig, or in my case, this synthetic or hybrid valve, they put that chemical on here, let it soak for some period of time, and it basically prevents it in the one-time agent of kind of a anti-rejection material. Now, this prohibits the need or takes away the need for you needing to be on an anti-rejection medication, which I'm on anyway because of heart transplant, but you don't need those anti-rejection medications because of this one-time treatment. Now, the way I like to describe this, and this is definitely going to prove I'm not a medical doctor, 
doctor, okay, but they kind of marinate it in that. They put it within that uh, liquid material, let it soak, whatever, kind of marinate it, prepare it, and then once they put it in the body, there's not nearly the risk of rejection. Now, with that being said, once again, there is still a very, very small, see how small that is? That's very small. A very small possibility that the body could reject that because it is a foreign body and because it is a tissue type material from yet another animal. Again, a pig or porcine material or tissue. There's a slight possibility that even still could be rejected. However, the way they explained it to me is that if the body were to reject that very small bit of porcine material within you, it wouldn't really cause any problems. Now, obviously the valve itself would fail. Obviously I would become more symptomatic again, probably go back to the old days when I was a lot, a lot of times lightheaded, dizzy, uh, weak, uh, out of breath, you know, just didn't have the energy. Because the valve itself would be failing, I would show symptoms of a valve failure. But again, that couldn't be dangerous that even though it was being rejected by the body, that rejection would not spread to the other tissues of my heart or anything like that. It would just be a failure of the valve. So they said, worst case scenario, you're more than likely very quickly going to become symptomatic. If that happens, if the valve fails or is rejected, you'll become symptomatic very quickly. You'll be able to report that to us. And worst case scenario, we're going to have to put it in a new valve. So that might require them again to redo the hybrid valve. They might go for a full on pig valve. Very unlikely if I'd rejected the first or they may as well and might as well go with the full on mechanical valve. Again, that would cause me to be on Coumadin or some type of anticoagulant. There are better ones even available now for the rest of my life, but that might be the better option. But they told me then and made me feel comfortable in saying that it was not going to be a severe you know, problematic type of situation. I would just experience again, the symptoms of valve failure, been there, done that, got the card to prove it. I'd be right back in that boat and need that valve replaced, but it could easily be done. And perhaps and most likely it could be done again through the TAVR procedure, therefore making it relatively easy to do. So I've had those questions. I've received those questions as of late. Thank you for submitting the question lately just to remind me that need to be discussed. But anyway, thank you so much for joining me. And until next time, stay stronger, my friend. Hey, real quick, some of you will be interested in knowing the fact that I actually recorded this particular video five different times before getting the latest version of it, which I'm just going to go with. If I made mistakes, my apologies for that. But I've actually recorded this video five times. I had a couple of different times, or one time at least, where the battery just quit in the middle of filming it, so obviously my camera shut off. Had another time or two where the sound, for whatever reason, was just messed up. I don't know. The lighting was not right. It's just a mess. I know I've got higher standards probably than you do for that. But then there was also a couple of times, which are really the worst, where I actually tried to pronounce that big giant word that's here on the screen. I couldn't do it, so I want to challenge you right now. If you can say this word, say it. If you can say it 10 times really fast, wow, that'll be impressive. But anyway, thank you again for joining me. Stay stronger, friends.